guys how is everyone doing i hope everyone is doing well by his grace well today i'm going to be making some very simple nigerian inspired stew very simple in here i've got some goat you know i'm a lover of goat <laughs> some goat some oxtail and some shaki you can use any type of meat that you prefer so i've got half slice of onion in here and in my blender i've got some garlic four cloves of garlic some ginger quite a lot of ginger and two and a half size medium size of onion in the blender so i'm gonna put on the fire and then we'll start seasoning our meat all right guys so in the blender i've got onions two medium size two and a half medium size of onion some garlic four cloves ginger and the spices i've added in here got some cloves some selene um anise seeds small anise seeds i've got cumin seed and i've got some ox i've got some parsley and some oregano that I blended together I don't like adding it into the meat so now I blend everything with the onions and then go and add it to our meat okay, guys so I'm gonna add in my blended spices onion and everything in there and we're going to let this cook for at least 20 to 25 minutes I'm going to let this simmer for at least 20 to 25 minutes i've already added some pinch of salt because of the spices so we'll continue so i've just put in three cans of blended tomatoes one large pepper and three scotch bonnet pepper in there so i'm gonna rinse the blender So you see how full it is we're going to leave it to simmer for a while about 30 to 40 minutes and at this stage you can remove the meat out and then put it aside which I'm going to do so so I'm gonna take off the meat or remove the meat and then I'll add it in later and then we'll just let the stew cook Alright guys, so our stew has been simmering down. You guys saw how full it was and this is the level it's got into. I've added about five spoons of oil, any any oil of your choice of course, inside and now I'm going to add add back my meat. Basically with the Nigerian stew. You know, as Ghanaians intend to fry the tomatoes for a very long period, the Nigerians don't do that. More or less like this is enough for them. So now I'm going to add in my meat and then I'll add in some curry powder. Let it sit on the fire or be on the fire for another 10 to 15 minutes and then we are done. We show you guys okay so i've added in my meat and some curry powder so i'm going to let it sit for on the fire for 10 15 minutes and then more or less we are done and that's all the oil that you need to put on the stew if you want you can add more oil to it that's it all right guys so look our nigeria inspired <laughs> stew is all done Thank you all so much. You see, us Ghanaians like our stew to be really cooked and very concentrated. But the Nigerians, they prefer it to be very light. Wait, thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Please make it very simple and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.